Hello. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this with us this morning. Uh, can you start this off by just introducing yourself, please? Sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Casey Nickel, and I am the Title IX coordinator at Luther College. I have been in that role since October of 2019. Previous to that at Luther College, I worked in the student life office. I mainly oversaw conduct in that role, new student orientation, and then assisted with case management. Perfect. Um, so now with your new role, what, do you, what role do you play in assisting dating violence victims on campus? Right. So at Luther College, as a Title IX coordinator, my job is to coordinate Luther's response, um, in part to comply with federal regulations such, such as Title IX or the Violence Against Women's Act. These responsibilities often include coordinating interim supportive measures. And so this is typically coordinating care to counseling services, to advocacies in town, to um, assisting with them finding medical attention, we're also working on protective measures such as no contact directives or no trespass orders or providing escorts on campus. We also help coordinate academic support so our students can thrive in the classroom despite kind of experiencing traumatic events. Um, but really what that means in terms of dating violence is we want to know what would be most helpful now for students experiencing dating violence and what we can do to offer support and safety to them on our campus. Awesome. So what kind of sparked your interest in working in this field or doing victim service work? Yeah, so for me, um, it was an opportunity to make a real difference and a positive impact on people's lives. Um, the work of our Title IX team is really dedicated to fostering an uh, environment on campus where individuals are treated with respect and dignity. And we have a grievance process on campus should an individual elect to go through a conduct process against the other party. And that can be really difficult at times, but it is an educational process and does align with the mission and values of the college. But really, um, it matters. The work really matters um, in getting the resources and empowering those individuals, those survivors, again, on their choice and agency on how they want to proceed at the college in particular. Awesome. So with what you do on campus and kind of what we do at Helping Services as advocates, how does collaborating with us help you? How does and how does it help um, the students that you're working with as well? Right. So we are so thankful, so, so thankful for the partnership of Helping Services. Um, they do so much with Luther College. So typically when a student is engaged with an advocate, such as one from Helping Service, it's visible to the Title IX office. Um, they feel this kind of unconditional positive regard and support emotionally and physically. Um, they're be better able to utilize services and resources in the community and on our campus. Helping services helps our students access grants that typically the college is not able to. They're able to be court liaisons. They're able to kind of walk through both the legal system and the conduct process. And there's just this overall support. Um, also on our campus with the collaboration with help, Helping Services, um, the education and visibility is huge. Anytime we have an event on campus that has content of sexual misconduct, advocates are on campus, they're tabling, they're there should a student want to debrief and talk about things. They're uh, always outside the cafeteria giving away really fun <laughs> promo <laughs> um, items as well and are really crucial in our structuring of prevention work on campus and will give us really good feedback and tips moving forward and how we can better connect with our student population um, with really kind of key evidence material that Helping Services is using. And then also we're really thankful for the feedback we get from Helping Services on trends, constructive feedback on how we can improve our policy and procedures. And they kind of bring the lens of a student perspective without always having to ask um, a survivor how we can improve uh, and advocates a really great role that they can just kind of observe with their student and then share on behalf of their students. So we're really thankful for the feedback we get from them in that capacity as well. That's awesome. I know on behalf of Helping Services and being the dating violence advocate who does a lot of the on-campus work, we are super appreciative of the collaboration that we have with Luther as well. So I'm glad it's so mutually beneficial for both of us. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, so what's your favorite part about what you do or your position? Yeah, 
I get to work with a variety of people, both on and off campus. Uh, we get to think creatively and collaboratively on how we can improve as an institution and kind of creating that healthy culture, um, as well as responding appropriately when incidents occur. The favorite part about my job is the adaptability. So some of my days are spent in one-on-one -on -one conversations that are often really hard and difficult and emotionally charged. And some of my day is kind of forward thinking on how we can build a better foundation on policy and procedures and supports available. No two days are ever the same. No two cases are ever the same. Um, it is never black and white. It is always a variety of gray. Um, but most importantly, you know, the cases are unique and challenging, but I really appreciate the courage of our students who choose to come forward and share their story. Um, and I hope in some way that we are able to um, support their healing and well being. And I hope they feel empowered by coming forward. I know the students that I have worked with as long with you have all felt that way. So you guys do a wonderful job of that. Thanks, Brittany. And with that, you said that you have a lot of, you know, challenging conversations, things that are emotionally charged. Um, and, you know, as advocates, we deal with a lot of the same stuff in this helping field. Um, so what do you think the importance is of self care in the, you know, in the work that you do? I, I think it's huge. Um, just carrying around stress and anxiety is so intense and having really difficult conversations can be really hard. And so we always, always preach self-care. And at Luther, we try and offer suggestions going for a walk after a conversation on campus that can be really hard. We have a lot of artists on campus and musicians in particular. So for a lot of them, a coping strategy is music, singing, playing their instrument. Um, we always highlight the great outdoors in any way we can. A lot of our students have emotional support animals. So I think anytime you can pet a dog or pet a cat is a really good um, option. Journaling is really key. Sometimes just reading or just kind of finding that really good social support system. A lot of our students do you kind of rely on peers and just talking with someone can be really helpful. Um, but we do really also promote that very much on our campus and it is key to kind of the healing process after a difficult conversation. All right, well, that is perfect. Thank you so much again for agreeing to do this for us. And I look forward to this continued collaboration between us and Luther. Us as well, Brittany, thank you. Thank you.